Hi everyone, I'm Cindy. My hope is that each day during these 21 days of prayer and fasting have been so impactful and revealing what the Lord is doing in your life. Today, I wanna share with you about praying for unity. You see, unity is a beautiful thing because it's all about having separate parts work together. It's the state of being united or joined as a whole. Now, if you know me, you know I love to bake. Not that I get to bake as often as I'd like now, but when I do, I get to share that love of baking with my girls. It's a joy to see the excitement of learning the whole process, and it teaches them the importance of each ingredient. While one ingredient alone is good, like sugar by itself that is sweet, flour provides the structure. Eggs are actually the binding agent, and it helps it to rise. However, the precise combination of these ingredients work together and it transforms it into a delicacy that creates an entirely different flavor profile. Every single ingredient joined together creates something really, really good. And it's not until these ingredients work together in harmony that something amazing happens. In the same way, each one of us as an individual brings something really good to the table. God creates us intricately with unique giftings. But think of how much greater it is when these giftings are aligned with the Lord's instruction and His people. I wanna read out of Ephesians 4, two through seven, and it guides us on this and it says, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, being diligent to keep the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace, there is one body and one spirit, just as you also were called in hope of your calling, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But to each one of us, grace was given according to the measure of Christ's gift. Now, you may need to hear this today. Do not forget that you bring something to the table that no one else can. I want you to hear that because God uniquely made you to partner with the body of Christ to come together in unity and to advance His kingdom. Psalm 133.1 says, how good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. So today, I want, I want you to think of ways how you can bring peace to where God has placed you, to create a culture of unity and to be intentional in your relationships with your family, in your community, your workplace, and in the church. Family, we are truly better together. Let's pray. God, I thank you for your peace. Lord, I pray for every single person that is hearing this message, Lord, that you are be, you are with them, Lord, that you are for them, God, and you are guiding them during these 21 days of prayer and fasting, Father, to reveal what, what it is that you are wanting. God, I pray that we continue to just live according to your purpose, Father, and that we follow the instruction that you have given us in unity, Father, to walk united, Father, as a body of Christ. Father, I pray that you continue to just meet them where they are at, Father God, and that each one of us can be a peacemaker where you have placed us, Father, to make an impact for your kingdom. God, we give you all the praise, all the glory, and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.